This is a rock and roll in the bathroom. Okay, welcome to Camp Ruinas, man. This is a paradise. festival is sort of like a, a free place where people can come and uh, do what they want. They don't even necessarily have to, you know, be interested or want to look at the art. They just have to, you know, want to be there. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, experience it. Uh, maybe a message of like freedom. Yeah, yeah, just freedom of everything, I don't know. It's, that's the, the problem with freedom, is it's hard to do. describe it, because you know, it's more of a, an attitude or a, something. But what I liked was that it kind of yeah, it gave people a space. from my heart is all based in video games and comics books, cartoons. So I think that was the style I was growing up from when I was a little kid. Um, I think there's no real meaning but that represent the massacre on the devil. Uh, people, some people who uh, hiding behind a mask like I think everyone do that in time in his life and I don't know, I think it's pretty good symbolic so it was kind of an uh, original way to express itself, the art itself like people do things and you walk away and you, if you want to see it, you see and uh, it's not like somebody ha behind you like yeah, what's this and what's this yeah. uh, it was free around all the house, around all the I own a house to see all the art. It was not, it was totally freedom, that's freedom art. And we have to do everything we got in our house to project it and to express it to everyone.
Would you like to say something about your your pieces? I like them. <laughs> Go there and say something. Mm. Oh yeah, through the window. So what do you want to know? I think we have Just, to ask uh, me a question. What, it's easier. What does this represent for you? Okay. I think uh, the main idea came from kind of exploration of of passions. I was starting looking at people and trying to figure out what drive them in life, the energy where they get getting the energy from, and from that came a lot of questions like what's like what is most important for people is the passion or just living and well, that's kind of my answer in a way. And I figure out that uh, passion gives people like the core, the, the, that kind of uh, personality in a way. That they become kind of special. So I use the core to explore that kind of speciality, that kind of glow of those people. But as well trying to create the question, what's the important part? That's why the frames are called as well. This is like a person in the frame, it's like a body of it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Together. So you don't have a go. You can like sort of click him or click away, and you can't can't go wrong really. And that, and if it breaks, you'll read. It happens a lot. Can you explain a little bit the process? Thing? The process. Yeah. Well, it's been about um, three years now. I've looked at it, and it's been um, yeah. So it started off with just like five solenoids um, in a kind of garden, like on a, sort of one on a rake and on a wall. And it was very simple programming to, <laughs> it was really, it's really simple programming and just kind of really block. And this is, it's the same today actually, it's like just click, 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 click. But um, yeah, so in the future I'd like to make it a bit more complicated, have more objects, make it a bit more stable. Um, but yeah, I set it up in the bathroom today with a, uh, in about, well, it's five hours now. So I wasn't able to do much with it. Just the very basics. And it should have an iPad to control it as well, but it's, uh, that didn't work out. So it's just back to, back to basics. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>
That's as loud as you're going to go. Oh, in, anglais, in English, oh, in English, oh, um, color red, red color, beautiful. Uh, not to show to all the kids, but very uh, uh, slaves and wild, wild, yeah, wild nature, savage, savage. Mm. Uh, very interesting. So, Tama, could you describe the performance that happened here? Uh, well, this performance was about the color red and the feelings that you relationate with that color. Uh, a part of that, it was about these feelings, this uh, concept that were passion, obsession and iron city. It was an exploration for the dancers and how to, uh, your body feels with that concepts and how you want, sometimes you want to escape of them, but you cannot and you get more attached to them. Thank you. All right. What um, what did you tell to the dancer to make them feel uh, this to have this feeling for the dance? Uh, actually, each each dancer was completely free about the movements. Uh, I only say to them the concept they were going to represent. Uh, but, well, it, I think I I choose. Spanish dancers because uh, then we'll be more close of the way that I feel these feelings and actually they, they really do it really well I'm, I'm really happy and how the piece look at the end but yeah I just give some instructions about really short instructions everything else was from the inside of the dancer but at the end well I think everybody was able to feel what the dancers were feeling and I think everybody get into the into the installation and were able to to understand when, what it was about. Thanks. So the performers performed three times. Yes. Uh, did you think that they got crazier each time or freer? Like they let them f let them free. Uh, well, they were all time free, and yes, they do it three times. I was just only able to see the first one. But actually, I think, I, I, well, I have been rehearsing with them, and they were rehearsing alone, and when they were completely alone with no people here, it was even more crazy and more strong, I think. The fact of being more and half this crowd looking to them, make it a bit softer. But I remember in, in one of the rehearsals, the first rehearsal I made with Mary B, we just made half of the piece that were like eight minutes and I was close to cry because I was just focused seeing her. And the way she was moving, was it really touched me. It was really strong. Cool. And uh, why the color red then? Why the color red? This is this is really stupid. Uh, the idea of this piece just came one day when I was going to town and I had to stop in one of the street lights, and I was just waiting to cross, watching the red, and I start thinking about the color red. And actually, I think for me and for everyone, the color red is the first color I remember in my life. It's, it's a color really, really close to everyone. Everyone can, can see their cells have the color red at least once in your life. But, and it's one of the primary, not pre, yeah, it's a really primary color and have a lot of expression after it. It's a color that can talk by itself.
That's what it feels like. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're tied to the wall, you've got restraints, really. Right. So I don't want to sound too critical, but it's interesting. So it's nice to cool. talk about it because you can't examine it with your brain so much as with your emotions. That's me, little piece. <laughs> Thank you. It was interesting, I enjoyed it. Conceptual band explaining uh, Fury of Washing. I've never been trained in this, is it? It's like. It's out of tune. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How long has the band been together for? The band's been together for. Six years now. Six years now. Bye bye, and please help me with this. 
want to see the dryer. The washing machine was. Uh, Oh, it wasn't a washing machine, it's a dryer. The dryer. Yeah, you shouldn't yeah. say it was a washing machine, we get very uptight about that. Many people uh, <laughs> mistake it for a washing machine. Have you know, there's very different tones to a washing machine. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think they enjoyed it? I think they did, yeah. Okay. Of course they did. One, two,
this show has been put, put together by a group of friends that like art and like to share and like to party and like to have a love and we created this together and we want to show it and share it with others encourage other people to do it as well and using the space that we've got in our houses and the space to share let's share your creativity, your love with your friend so the revolution coming is now a revolution of of war and fight is more revolution of love and happiness and people just creating and being alive and they're free.